What's up y'all? Today I'm gonna teach you how to do a one footer on your wakeboard. The tricks that you're gonna to wanna to already know how to do before attempting the one footer are basically just knowing how to do a heel side jump off the kicker and that's all you're really gonna to need to know. Also, I highly recommend using system bindings or any sort of binding with a booty when attempting one footers. One other thing that would be kind of helpful is applying grip tape in between your bindings on your board for more grip. I didn't do this in the video just because I didn't have any, but if you do have grip tape there, it will be a lot nicer on the landings. The approach you're gonna to wanna to take when attempting one footers for the first time, I recommend starting off with a nice progressive gentle edge in towards the kicker but maybe as you progress and get better at these and if you want to start going bigger and bigger you can start building and taking it a little bit heavier of an edge towards the kicker but definitely at first take a nice gentle one so that you're kind of in more control Now that you've taken that gentle edge in towards the kicker, just before approaching the kicker, you're going to want to flatten off, get nice and squatted while riding up the kicker, nice and flat, standing slightly taller and taller until you get to the peak of the ramp. Also, just before you get to the peak, you're going to want to drop that rear hand. Now it's time to take off the kicker. As you've approached the very peak of it, you're going to want to make sure that you're standing at your tallest point to get that solid straight up, straight down pop. And after you have released from the kicker, you're going to want to sort of let your knees come up to your chest, making sure that board follows. And you're going to start reaching down for that indie grab. And once you know in your head that you're going to be able to grab your board, you can start letting that back foot come off while your hand starts to meet that indie point on your board. You've grabbed Indy and your back foot is off of the board. Now it's time to really poke that back foot out as far as you can. And you're going to want to hold it at this point as long as you comfortably can. Once you feel that that back foot has been hanging out there for quite a moment, now it's time to bring that back foot back up and on top of the board, place it right there underneath you since you're already grabbing Indy. And now you can let go of that Indy grab and you can spot your landing down below you. Just bend your knees on impact and ride away. One quick tip I'd say if you're first learning this trick, I'd say just grab Indy at first and don't even take that rear foot off at all. Then the next lap, maybe take it off a little bit and the next lap after that, take it off a little bit more. This is one of those tricks that you can gradually work into poking it out more and more. So start small, then go bigger and bigger and bigger. Also, you can start with that light edge and you could progressively get into more of a medium edge and then a hard edge and try and take it as big as you can. But just go with what feels best for you and whatever you're comfortable with and work your way up. I'm gonna give you a brief little summary of the entire trick. Make sure you're on the opposite side of the cable of the kicker that you're approaching. Roll into a nice, progressive, gentle edge. And as you're approaching the kicker, just before you get to the kicker, that's when you're going to want to flatten off, get nice and low and squatted. And you're going to want to be flat on the kicker as you're traveling up it. And as you're getting closer and closer towards the peak at the very top of the kicker, this is when you're going to want to stand tall to get that maximum straight up, straight down pop. Also, just before you reach the peak of the kicker, that's when you can drop that rear hand behind you. Now that you've popped off of the peak of the kicker, you can let that board drift up and soak up those knees to bring that board up to your body. Reach down for that indie grab while simultaneously let that rear foot drift off the board, grab indie, and this is where you're gonna really wanna take that rear leg and poke it out as much as you possibly can and for as long as you comfortably can. Once you feel it's been hanging out there for a minute, bring that back foot back up onto the board, let go of the indie grab. You can spot your landing down below you, bend your knees on impact and just ride away.
That's how you do a one footer on your wakeboard. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment below what kind of tricks you guys want to learn next and what kind of videos you guys want to see next. And remember, I'll be uploading a wakeboarding video every second day forever. So make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.